Pyeongchang 2018, the stories to watch. Ice hockey. Ice hockey made its debut at the 1920 Summer Olympics, which were held in Antwerp, Belgium, during the temperate month of April. But it has been a winter game staple since the first was held in Chamonix, 1924. A women's tournament was added in Nagano, 1998. Six players aside face off, playing three 20-minute periods, showcasing dexterity, strength, and grace. In Pyeongchang, there will be a men's tournament featuring 12 teams divided into three four-team divisions. Group winners advance to quarterfinals, as does the second-ranked team with the best record. Semifinals follow, then the medal games. The women's tournament features eight teams split into two competition groups. The top two teams of Group A, loaded with talent, will jump directly to the semifinals. The next four ranked teams contest in the quarterfinals first, and then on to the semifinals before advancing to the medal finals. Ice hockey men's events will take place at the Gangneung Hockey Center in the region's coastal cluster. The main arena there will seat 10,000 spectators. Gangneung will also host curling and speed skating, both short track and long track. The women's competition will be held cross town at the Kwangdong Hockey Center on the site of a university's former gymnasium, with seating expanded to 6,000 spectators. When the women reach their semifinal round, they'll join the men in the Gangneung Hockey Center. What team in the National Hockey League actually copied its nickname from a movie? The answer, later on Pyeongchang 2018, stories to watch. History in the sport could be equal to Pyeongchang 2018 by Megan Augusta. She has won gold with Canada at each of the last three Olympics, and a fourth would tie the record held by two others and put her in austere company. Her 2010 tournament performance was so good, Megan was named MVP, amassing 15 points in just five games. At 18, she was the youngest member of Canada's team in turn 2006. Megan started on ice as a figure skater, but switched to hockey at the age of six. In 2014, Megan took a break from sports to join the Vancouver Police Department as a probationary constable. Megan will turn 31 during Pyeongchang 2018. Can she run her victories to four straight Olympic golds? The all-time medal table of ice hockey tied for fifth place, Great Britain and the Czech Republic. In fourth, Sweden with two, 11 overall. Three golds for the US. In second, the Soviet Union. Canada almost equals all countries on this list with 13. While it's likely the European teams in the women's tournaments may battle for bronze, it's also possible that one of those teams could pull off a surprise, and the most likely candidates would be Sweden and Finland. Both have beaten the top teams before in international contests. The Swedes at the 2006 Olympics managed a silver medal performance. In Vancouver, Sweden lost in overtime for the bronze to Finland. In the 2014 Olympic bronze medal game, Sweden's Lady Crowns suffered a 4-3 loss and finished fourth. Meanwhile, the Finns have won two Olympic bronze medals and finished fourth twice. Finland was 0 for 20 against Canada at the World since 1990, but finally beat Canada in a qualification game. Finnish goalie Nora Ratu feels her team can beat the Canadians in Pyeongchang because the styles are similar and defensive in nature. Will it happen? A four-time Olympian, 39-year-old Pavel Datsuk is still one of the world's most stylish two-way hockey players, known for his outstanding and subtle defense, as well as his offensive skills. Pavel is called the magic man for his ability to steal the puck from opposing players before they realize what he's doing. Pavel won two Stanley Cup titles with the NHL's Detroit Red Wings, and in 2017, he led SKA St. Petersburg to the championship in the Continental Hockey League in Russia. He was Russia's team captain during the 2014 Olympics in Sochi. He might once again for the renamed Olympic athletes from Russia. Did you know? Since 1998, the National Hockey League allowed its players to participate in the Olympic Games and suspended its season. This allowed some of the world's greatest hockey players, from Canada's Wayne Gretzky and Sidney Crosby, to Russia's Alexander Ovechkin, Sweden's Nicholas Lidstrom, and the Czech Republic's Dominic Hasek to play on the world's grandest stage. However, this year, the NHL players will not participate at the games. Many nations see this as an opportunity for their team to jump into history. Tony Granado has the difficult task of bringing together a USA men's team in short order. Tony, who played for the USA Olympic team in Calgary 1988, is now the head coach after a career behind the bench in the NHL and now coaching at the University of Wisconsin. The 
have a talent pool level now that is as deep as it's ever been for USA Hockey. We're looking forward to showing that off. By the end of the tournament, I'm sure the Americans and our hockey fans will, will fall in love with these guys. Tony will have some Olympic veterans helping players from college and European teams. Former NHL captain Brian Junta, 2010 silver medalist Ryan Malone are expected to play in Pyeongchang. Tony's sister Cammy played on the U.S. team in 1998 that won ice hockey gold in the very first Women's Olympic tournament. Can Tony accomplish behind the bench what Hammy did on the ice? Cammy Granado's impact on Hillary Knight was so strong that this U.S. forward not only wears Cammy's old number 21, Hillary bears a tattoo of the number on her left arm. Before she became a two-time Olympic silver medalist, Hillary dreamed of the Olympics as soon as she started skating. Her mother supported her and agreed to send Hillary to one of Cammy Granado's summer camps. At age 17, Hillary joined Team USA and was still the youngest player on the 2010 Olympic team at the age of 20. Hillary set career scoring records at the University of Wisconsin under head coach Mark Johnson, the leading scorer for the U.S. Miracle on Ice team that won the 1980 gold in Lake Placid. Did you know her answer on what NHL team took its nickname from a film? The Mighty Ducks from 1992 became the name of the Anaheim franchise just a year later. The women start the Pyeongchang tournament. The men begin their round robin games on the 14th. On the 17th, the women's quarterfinals. Then the semifinals on the 19th. Medal games start the 21st. Two men's semifinals take place the 23rd with the medals finals on the 24th and 25th. The Olympic Winter Games in Pyeongchang set to begin February 9th. Fill your knowledge tank by watching other episodes on Olympic Channel.